welcome to so many games real time my name is Joachim and today we'll be unboxing obsession pride intrigue and prejudice in Victorian England the second edition you can see it here 2.2 e and uh, also the Wessex expansion the promotional tiles and upstairs downstairs so I only have a faint idea about what the game is about because you can literally see it here and I know it is a hit. I know many people really, really like it. So I am very curious to see what it all, what it's all going to look like and uh, how it's going to play. But first, let me uh, open the box. Okay, so this is the main box. Let's look at the sides. Nothing much. Just obsession. And then on the side, obsession, obsession, and obsession. All right. So the back of the box looks like this. I'll zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. So Derbyshire or Derbyshire, I think Derbyshire. And then a lot of stuff here, small prints. So I'm not going to read it. It does say one to four people, 30 to 90 minutes and 14 plus. All right, so let's open this up, shall we? It's quite a heavy box especially with all those expansions that still have to be added. I don't think there will be art inside the box. There is not. So let's put this like here. So it's easy to open the rule book. You can see the rule book here. Uh, I already like all the pictures. Apparently these are all real pictures. They really uh, went out of their way to make sure everything was authentic. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more here. There we go. All right, so the rule book, play set up, their goal and the flow of the game, the round track. Uh, a lot of text. I'm used to higher, uh, sorry, I'm used to bigger letters and more pictures. <laughs> But uh, as, far as, I'm, as far as I know, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So it might look intimidating, but maybe it's not. So, okay. Then we have the glossary. There we go. The Fairchild family, some background. Okay. Interesting. The coins, the bonuses, the different rooms, what they do. So it always has thematic material. So they will say sometimes it is historical, sometimes it's not. So basically this gives you details about everything that's in the game. It looks very nice. Very cool, especially if you want to know all the details. So for example, here, the lady's made a lot of thematic material, gameplay detail, and just gives you a service exclusive to female guests. So. National Day provides service, repetition, victory points, special actions, strategy guide. Okay. <laughs> All right. The under butler. Okay. Cool. Did not expect that to be in there. And then here we have the uh, score pad. So double-sided and then wow this looks very nice I guess these are families at the moment it is empty but look at the finish I'm sure this is where your uh, cards go once we've taken them all out so the Cavendish family uh, Wessex also empty Howard Put this on the side. Ponsonby. Nice. The House of York. And then the House of Asquith. Nice. Okay, what is this then? This is also empty. So it's also a storage, I guess, for other things. 
still unbeknownst to me. And this is, this might not be empty, this is heavier. Ah, uh, okay. So these are meeples and also a D20 and a baggie. So a really big bag actually. I guess it's for all the tiles that might come out. Okay, so I'll put this back in and open these guys up. I'm gonna open it off screen because otherwise it's gonna cause way too much noise. Okay, so that's been taken care of and then I can show you the different uh, meeples here. You see they all have different shapes. They all have their different uh, tasks as well in the game. Different responsibilities. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think I have all of them. I have the white one here and this one. I think that's it. Yeah, and it definitely looks like it's that. All right. So at the moment I'll keep them in here, although I'm sure they're supposed to go somewhere else, but you know, I opened it, might as well. It was in there, might as well stay in there for now. Okay, it's away. All right, then we have a bunch of cards. I suggest we do these decks first, so I will open them off camera. Okay, here's the first deck, and here it's dismissing guests, so I'm guessing these are just uh, Player aids, yeah, looks like it. Double sided, yeah. All player aids, special actions. Quite a lot of player aids, actually. And another one, yeah. Okay, so that's it. And then here, Obsession Solitaire. So that means the Automa. So you guys roll, and then it uh, says what's going to happen. All right. Okay, beginner, beginner. All right, okay. Cool. And then we have the regular obsession. These are people. So let's take a look at the people, shall we? We have Winston, Winston Napier, Sir Richard Beeston, Theodore Lodge, Istvan, Sir Thomas, Sir Richard. Thomas as well, Sir Alan. I'm just going to do the, the first names. A lot of Thomases. John, Theo, Peter, Thomas again, Kenneth, Carol. So they all have things that they do. For example, Albert here, the elderly Marcus, is close friends with Alice Dowager, Countess of Holt, a Derbyshire resident. Okay. Richard. Honorable Albert, Alistair, Mayor Anthony, Count Dmitri Konstantinov, <laughs> hailing from St. Petersburg, the Count has spent a decade in London society. He visits Derbyshire to hunt. Cool. John Ambrose, Ambrose, Reginald Hopkins, Francis Trotwood, Zachary, Major William Hawes, Colonel Walter, so Charles, Walter Tuttle, also reminds me a little bit, uh, Colonel Stephen, about uh, Peaky Blinders, to be honest. <laughs> Some of these, Charles Viscount, uh, Viscount James Hereford, Roger, Charles Hobart, and Sir Bentley. Actually, Viscount is not the last name, obviously, it is uh, a title, but anyway. So, these are a bunch of people, and if you see the crown, it means that they are starting uh, visitors or residents or whatever. And then we have a bunch more people. So I'm just going to go over the uh, pictures. I'm not going to say the names anymore. But it's just cool to see all these pictures. Apparently they're, they're, apparently they're legit pictures from back then. So very interesting they managed to get their hands on it. If I'm if I'm correct, of course. If I'm not correct, you can always let me know. Yeah, I think this would be a very interesting game to play. Yeah, some are very special looking for sure. 
because some look very very much photoshopped so i'm not sure if they're all oh look it's a cat <laughs> uh, i'm not sure they're all from that time maybe they're not some look a little bit strange and edited i think all right so lots of ladies lots of men all right so i guess he's going to go on top of here then we have the smaller cards the objective cards apparently you start with five is it but you're only going to score three and uh you'll be getting rid of two throughout the game so you can see a bunch of cards uh yeah pretty clear what you're supposed to be doing so yeah nice and then these i think are really funny they're so small they're victory point cards vp three or 200 pounds so these are the back actually so oh essentials what is this fresh out essentials okay fresh out service estate prestige and sporting uh, i guess if you take one of these you never know what you're going to get five points or this or a person or yeah there's a bunch of other stuff refresh build build it refresh builders market bunch of stuff bunch of stuff okay all right but these essentials and so on they have a different backing though all right then we have the boards now you can see in the boards you have uh, the different families and they also have different family bonuses like the york family as uh, domestic staff are all are exceptional begin the game with an extra footman well for example cavendish you can see the art is also different the the banner uh, and here i mean the crest and here the cavendishes are the best connected begin the game with reputation level one position four so yeah they all have their different uh powers the ponds and bees have the greatest wealth begin the game with 300 pounds Asquith, Dowager Countess Asquith lives with the family, begin the game with her card in hand. And then these things will just go at the bottom, one per person. Yeah. And the back of these, oh, is there a difference? Asquith, not that I immediately see. Maybe there is a difference, but I don't know. And then these uh, improvements, can put this on the side. Then this is the round track okay theme cards vip cards ah so that's the theme card so this one so that would be like this sporting okay good sir on the other side i have this which is it the same village fair courtship objective village fair courtship. it seems the same oh no different numbers different numbers but yeah so it is different, I don't know why, maybe depending on how many people you play. And then here we have the board, which is easy to open. I don't need to do anything special. It looks nice, typical English countryside. Okay, I'm guessing there's nothing on the back. No. And then we have the tiles, well, the punch boards, basically. All right, I'm going to have to flip the box because otherwise it's difficult to get them out. Wow, okay. That was almost a surprise. Okay, so you can see there's a bunch of tiles, uh, buildings, the main gazebo, fenced paddock, flower room, English garden, and the coins. Now, I don't have the uh, Kickstarter version, so no metal coins or anything like that. Yeah, so Queen Suite, sculpture garden. All right then we have these they're different colors i'm sure it means something but i don't know what imported marble floor garden maze there we go uh, then we have more tiles so more rooms this one time they're blue uh, yeah maybe it has to do with the color because for example sporting archery uh, could be and then prestige is purple maybe there's purple 
rooms as well, like the green room. I don't know, could be. Maybe it's all connected. Like I said, I have no idea. But I think it is like that. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Alright, and then we have the green one. So I said green would be sporting. Yeah, this is all sports. So I think it's pretty much like that. Okay. And that is it for the unboxing of the main box. I'm um, very excited about this game because I think it's a game that I'll be able to play with my wife. Um, so, I don't know though. We'll see how heavy the game is as well. That might have an influence on proceedings. But yeah, one thing I'm a bit sad about is there's no bags or ways for storage, no insert or whatever. So where would these cards go? Just throw them in? Okay, you can say... Oh, okay, probably they go in here, right? That would be the storage then. Okay, that would make sense. All right, so let's move on to the uh, expansion. All right, so here is the upstairs downstairs expansion. You can see second edition 2.1p. So, uh, wait, I should probably show you the back first. Okay, two anxious. So the side is as usual. Nothing special in this case, so I'm just going to flip it over. And this is the uh, upstairs, downstairs, your obsession toolbox. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff that is added, also some new characters, apparently. So we'll see. Let's open it up. There you go. Aha, uh -huh. so another baggie. All right. And I'm going to skip most of this stuff and merely go to the expansion now that I still have some room here. I'll just put it on top of this. There we go. So, um, it's basically a toolkit containing a major expansion, components to enable five or six players, three new game modes, milestones, and upgraded materials for first edition obsession owners. So, the upgraded stuff I won't need. Uh, of course, but yeah. So, cool. So, rules changes to first edition. Uh, yeah, so don't really care about that. Um, expansion, new service mechanic. Uh, the new servants. The hall boy, the cook, the head housemaid. Useful man. <laughs> uh, I think that's funny. Oh, are you the useful man? Come in. Make yourself useful. Uh, solo estate challenge. Okay, competitive play. All right, Tableau, Obsession, and Milestones. A new improvement tile, and back or developed promotional tile winners. Cool. All right, so let's focus more on the other stuff now. Once again, a, a score pad like we saw before. Okay, I'm going to open all this, including these. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've opened everything. First, let's take a look at the new people. As you can see, is the useful man. And then the other ones. I think the orange one, obviously, is a cook. Okay, there's a hall boy there, too. I think this is all of that. And, of course, you also have the basic ones because it's a five to six player expansion, right? So, uh, yeah, you also have those, of course. Yeah, so a lot of people here uh, that work on your estates. All right, and then more objective cards. Okay, so of course it's going to mention whether it's for the expansion or not. I'm sure some of these can also be used in the base game. And here, essentials. These are like bigger VP cards, which of course is a little bit handier than the small ones. I think this is probably a replacement deck because it's the exact same thing, just bigger. Pretty sure it's a replacement deck. Which I think, I don't know, I don't, I don't mind those small ones. I think it's kind of cute. Solitaire cards. Tottenham, Pole Dark, Crawley, Warligan, Windsor. Okay. Okay. More player aids. Then we have some milestones. Okay, so 
So. All right, milestones. And then the, uh, the people, just take a look at them. Yeah. Still very impressive to get all these pictures. So yeah, if you think about it, it becomes a pretty impressive deck then, you know, all of these together. So I'm sure it's quite a bit of replayability here, and the variability, which ones come out when. These are all the men, so I'm sure the next one is going to be the women. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then promo guests. Okay, cool. And then we have here obsession promotional cards, unique rules. So some of these have special rules. Yeah. Oh, Sherlock Holmes as well. I didn't even see him come by. All right. Um, Orderly Hall, round check for solo estate challenge. Okay. Nice. I guess it's just the regular one then. Cool. Then here we have the builder, builder market. Apparently this is not necessary if you have the first, uh, second edition already because it's already in the main board. So once again, for more players. Then we also have the Howard family. Uh, it's renowned in Derbyshire. So the family cook anyway. So begin the game with the cook. All right, cool. And then we're gonna have to evict all these people and then take out the tiles. And you can see again the colors, uh, the new sports is our babbling brook for fly fishing, a cricket field, bowling green. All right, so let's take out the boards. So here we see, here we see them, all right, and then here as well, and this one, more fly fishing, stock lake, big game trophy room, all right, okay, and that is the end for the expansion. So then we only have two left to go. We have the Wessex expansion and the Obsession promotional tiles. Okay, so here we are, the Wessex expansion and the promotional tiles. We'll do the promotional tile first. So um, it says here during the Kickstarter campaign in 2019, in the fall, there was a stretch goal in which backers of the project would get to design two promotional improvement tiles. So these two were eventually chosen, the North Tower and Horse Carriage. But there's also a bunch of other stuff, of course, as you can see. Orderly Hall, Art Gallery, and so on, All right? Village Fair Stall, Summer House, Minor Aviary, Private Family Chapel, Ballroom. And here we have the Music Room, Walled Garden, Laundry, the Ice House, nice. So you can see here are other ones that, and then the ones that I just talked about more explained. East and haha. -ha. Okay. So this side as well. Okay. And then here, it just says the 20 promotional tiles developed by supporters of the upstairs downstairs Kickstarter campaign span all five improvement style categories, tile categories, services, through service, states, essentials, prestige, porting, and specialized. I don't know why, but with this unboxing, apparently I really can't speak anymore. Okay, so here is the Wessex expansion. So deluxe second printing includes two new improvement tiles, morning room and retiring room. Requires the obsession base game. So this is the back. All right, so let's see what's inside. It's a little bit more difficult to open this one because it's fairly thin. 
Okay, I got it. All right. Open this in a second. First, let's see. Oh, this. the rule book is really short. That's it. <laughs> the rule book. Okay. Um, there we go. The rooms. Tennis court. Mm -hmm. And then the Wessex family. The Wessex estate is the largest. Begin the game with either the breakfast room or tennis court. Okay. So then we have the cards that I think I can just open like this. No need this time to press pause or whatever because it doesn't require a lot of effort. Here we go. So we have some solitaire cards again. Plantagenet, Lancaster, Orange, Tudor, Blois and Grosvenor. Uh, I think. And then the people here, once again. Yeah, I don't think there are any doubles. I don't think I saw any doubles. Yeah, to live in that time would be very, very... <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> it would be very, very different. Alright, cool. So basically, that's it. This was the uh, Obsession expansion uh, and of course the whole Obsession 2nd edition version. Normally I'll put the box here, but it's underneath everything else, so I'm not gonna... So um, yeah, you will definitely see playthroughs for this uh, solo and maybe with uh, my wife and all other people. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.